planetary winds. Planetary winds are also called permanent or prevailing winds as they blow the year round in the same regions. There are three types of planetary winds, trade winds, prevailing westerlies and polar winds. The trade winds blow from the subtropical high pressure belts, horse latitudes, to the equatorial low pressure belts, doldrums. They are constant in strength and direction, and therefore the name trade, which in Latin is trado, which means constant direction. These winds blowing towards the equator from 30 degrees north, from the northeast in the northern hemisphere, and from 30 degrees south from the southeast in the southern hemisphere are known as the northeast trade winds and the southeast trade winds respectively. They are also called the northeast trades and the southeast trades. William Farrell, an American meteorologist, developed Farrell's law to explain the direction of the northeast trade winds and the southeast trade winds. It states that a body moving over the surface of the earth will be deflected to its right in the northern hemisphere and to its left in the southern hemisphere. This happens as a result of the earth's rotation and applies particularly to oceanic and air movements. The prevailing westerlies blow from the subtropical high pressure belts, horse latitudes, to the subpolar low pressure belts between 30 and 60 degrees north and south. They are not constant in strength and direction. These winds are also known as southwesterlies in the northern hemisphere and northwesterlies in the southern hemisphere based on the direction from which they blow. In the absence of land masses, the westerlies become very strong, especially between 40 degrees and 50 degrees and are called the roaring 40s. The polar winds blow from the polar high pressure belts to the subpolar low pressure belts. Their direction is variable in the northern hemisphere, but more regular in the southern hemisphere. These winds are known as the north polar easterlies and the south polar easterlies in the northern and southern hemispheres respectively.